Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this Splits Flexibility Flow. Uh, today's class is going to be focused on your splits, so whether you want to get your splits or you're really close to getting them, uh, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to be sharing my favorite stretches that help me get my splits all bundled up into this yummy little flow. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and grab two blocks and a yoga belt, a yoga strap, a belt, whatever you can think of to replace it. And yeah, let's go ahead and meet on the mat. Ryan Little. <laughs> Bringing your legs up, straight on top of you. Feet are flexed. Belly is pulling up and in. I'm gonna take a big inhale, maybe raise your arms up overhead. Wherever feels most comfortable for you. And go ahead and close your eyes. I'm going to start connecting to your breath. Taking deep inhalations and exhalations through the nose. Trying to make those inhalations and exhalations equal. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, you can go ahead and slowly bring your right leg in front of your left one. Slowly start to bend onto your right leg. You can fling the eyes open if you need to see and readjust yourself. We're going to head into this quad stretch. So bring your ankle a little bit on top of the knee. Take a big inhale, bend that left leg, go ahead and wrap your arms around and under that left thigh and try to use your arm strength to bring that left thigh as close to your chest as you can, keeping both feet flexed.
As always, if you want to take some movements and see if that intensifies the stretch for you, you can go ahead and do so. Your stillness feels better. Always listen to your body and adjust the practice to your needs. Two more breaths here. Next inhale, you can go ahead and bring the legs back up straight. You can try and bring that right leg a little bit more on top. Kind of stack that right leg on top of that left one. Go ahead and bend both legs. I'm gonna go ahead and head into Sutta Mukhasana. So start by grabbing the outside of both feet. Start by bringing the legs close to your chest as you can. Maybe try and bring the feet out into a T shape, pressing down, trying to keep your lower back onto the mat. Your next inhale, I'm gonna bring the legs back up, straight on top, and switch sides. So bring your left leg on top of your right one. I'm gonna start with that quad stretch, so bring that ankle a little bit on top of that right knee. Take a big inhale. Wrap your arms around under that left leg, uh, that right leg, sorry. You can go ahead and bend that right leg. Bring the right thigh as close to your chest as you can. Make sure both feet are flexed. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, you can slowly start to lift the legs back up. Stack your left leg on top of the right one, go ahead and bend both legs, grab the outside of both feet. I'm going to start by bringing your legs as close to your chest as you can. Then slowly try to bring your legs out into a T shape while pressing down towards the floor.
Two more breaths here. Your next inhale, bring the legs straight back up. Slowly try to lower both legs down on to your mat. You can go ahead and grab onto that yoga belt if you have one or you can use your yoga mat holder. That's what I used to use in the beginning. Or if you have just a regular belt, really whatever that you have that can replace this. I'm gonna take a big inhale. You can readjust yourself if you want to. We're gonna take a big inhale. Make sure both feet are flexed here. Take a full breath. Inhale, let your right leg lift up towards the sky. You can slowly bend it, kind of loop your strap around your foot. We're going to take a reclined split. So the best way to work on this uh, for me was really, I really think that using a strap or anything can really help you because even if you're here, you can make sure that you keep good alignment. So here you want to have your hips, make sure your hips are squared, feet are can be flexed or pointed. I like to always make sure that my bottom foot is flexed. And you take a big inhale and just use the belt and try to pull and bring that foot, that thigh close to your belly, into your chest as you can. So, Whenever you're here, just make sure to keep hips square. And to begin, you want to keep your foot flex. If you're a little bit more flexible, you want to try it without the belt. You can go ahead and grab two fingers onto your big toe. Take a big inhale, straighten the leg. So wherever you are, we're just going to hold this. And slowly try and start to bring it as close to the floor as you can. The leg on the bottom is actively pressing down on the mat. I'm gonna hold this for two more breaths. Slowly bring your leg back up to center and let your leg lower back all the way down. Take a full breath here. Take a full breath here. And we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So if you use the straps, same idea. So you go ahead and inhale, make sure both feet are flexed. Take a big inhale, lift that left leg all the way up. Bend your leg, loop it around. Make sure hips are squared. So, so, so important. Feet are flexed. And start pulling. Pull, pull towards your chest, towards the bottom. Try and bring it as close to your chest, wherever you are, or even if you're here. Here, I was here for a long, long time. And if you're here and you're wondering, you're not feeling the stretch anymore and you're kind of holding your leg and you're here and you can't really go any further, but you can't really feel the stretch and you're wondering how, you can also try and use your thumb, kind of 
kind of press into that little uh, fold that we have naturally here. So press into that little fold here and that's going to allow you to um, get deeper into the stretch easier. Two more breaths here. And next inhale, so we bring that leg back to center. Let it lower down onto the mat. Now, flex the feet. Slowly let the hands come together, clasp together, up and overhead. We're going to go ahead and take a plow pose. So take a big inhale here. Try and lift both legs up towards the sky and bring them slowly up and overhead, taking a light pose. Maybe you want to stack the toes to make sure that your hips are, I have to stack my toes here. Take a full breath. On your next exhale, slowly lower down. Maybe let the legs melt onto your chest. When you lower your chest, maybe you swing yourself forward, lift yourself forward. Maybe you want to use your hands down onto the mat to help you come into a boat pose. So here, as always, let me scooch. As always, uh, choose the option that you prefer. So maybe it's bent legs or with straight legs. We're going to take some little knee to forehead, little boat crunches. So on your inhale, you're going to bring tip of the fingers down on the mat. Tip of the big toes, bring your knee to your forehead. Take a big inhale, exhale. Bring it to your boat pose, whatever option that you chose. Just hold it again like this. Inhale, tip of the toes, tip of the fingers. Exhale, boat pose, whatever option. Last one, inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, slowly rock forward. Maybe you want to use your hands. Lift up. Come into a half forward fold. So here, maybe you want to have your hands uh, on your blocks. Uh, whatever feels most comfortable for you. As always, maybe you want to have your feet a little wider. Kind of uh, straight underneath your hips, maybe you want to have your feet together, whatever you want here. Take a big inhale, coming into a straight back. Exhale, we're going to come into Uttanasana, holding opposite elbow. Just let yourself hang here. Folding. Letting your body hang. Hold on to your thighs. Maybe you want to take some movements side to side. On 
your next inhale, come back to that straight back. Exhale, go ahead and start by bending that left knee. We're going to take a fold onto our right leg to begin. So if you want to use your blocks, bring them by your side. If you don't need to, go ahead and, go ahead and fold onto that right leg. Make sure you're breathing. As always, with any forward fold, you want to sh make sure you're shifting the weight forward. Lengthening the spine. One more breath here. Next, inhale, come back to center. We're gonna just switch it. So on your next exhale, just melt, bend. That right leg, melt on your left leg. Shifting that way forward. Making sure you're breathing. The more oxygen that goes to your muscle, the easier the stretches will feel. Two more breaths. Next inhale, come back to your straight back. Exhale, we're gonna Attempt our forward fold here, wherever you are, just let yourself melt. Making sure that your back is straight. Two more breaths here. Next inhale, come back to that straight back. Exhale, fold. Next inhale, rise all the way up. Arms come up overhead. Exhale. Take a dive forward, let it melt again to a forward fold. Inhale, coming back to your straight back. On your exhale, plant the hands down, walk, step back, shift the weight forward. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to downward dog. When you're here, you can readjust yourself if you need to. Maybe start pedaling out the legs. Making sure that you're really pressing into your hands, lifting that tailbone up. We're gonna take a few spinal waves here. So when you're ready, take a big inhale, chin tucks into the chest, roll forward into a high plank. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, lift the hips, glide you all the way back to downward facing dog. Again, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, smooth the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. 
One last time like this. Inhale, move forward. Exhale. Drop the belly, lift the tail. Bend the knees as much as you need. When you come back to down dog, get that right leg. Lift up all the way up towards the sky. Take a full breath here. Gonna take some leg lifts. So on your next inhale, pull the leg up towards the sky. Exhale, lower down. Two. We're gonna take five like this. Three. Four. Lift up. Five. Last one. Keep it up. Take a big inhale. Left heel lifts off the mat. Try and keep your right leg straight. Foot is flexed. Bring that right leg in between your hands. Coming into a pyramid pose here. So maybe you want to use your blocks here beside your feet. And then take an inhale, coming into your straight back. Keeping your hips square, making sure your heels are in line. Uh, back foot is slightly tilting outward. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, let your chest melt towards your leg. On your next inhale, flip the chin to the chest. Coming back to your straight back. Exhale, let it melt. Two more like this. Inhale, taking the chin to the chest, straight back. Exhale, let it melt. Last one, straight back. This time, when you exhale, we're gonna hold it, so just let it melt onto your right leg. Making sure your hips are squared. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, coming back to that straight back. And go ahead and move your blocks to the side for now. If they were if you were using them. Go ahead and plant that left hand onto the mat. We're gonna take a slight twist here, keeping your hips squared. Your right arm comes parallel with the other one. Maybe you look up towards that right hand. On your next inhale, go ahead and cactus that right arm up. Slowly exhale, shift it, bring it straight forward out in front of you. On your next inhale, Go ahead and lift that left arm up. Exhale, shifting towards your left side, coming into a wide leg forward fold here. Take a full breath here, keeping your straight back. Inhale, pull and really pull the heart straight out in front of you. Exhale, gonna go ahead and let it melt. Maybe you want to take some space on the side. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Can grab the back of the feet or the big toes. Whatever you prefer here. Again, making sure that we're shifting the weight forward towards the tip of the toes. Two 
Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, come back to your straight back. Maybe your hands are on your blocks. On your exhale, slowly shift your way back towards that right leg. Plant the hands down. Step the foot back. Shift weight forward. Chaturanga. Maybe you bend the legs here. Put the knees on the mat. Whatever is fine. Wherever you are. As long as you make it back to downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a few spinal waves again. So when you're ready, take a big inhale, chin rolls into the chest, roll forward. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, bend your knees as much as you need. Let the hips glide you all the way back. Again, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. Last thing like this, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. This time when you make it back, let that left leg lift all the way up. Same idea, we're gonna take these Leg lifts again. So take a big inhale. Let that right leg, I mean that left leg pull up. Exhale, tap it down. We're gonna go for five. So one, two, three, four, five. Last one. Hold it up there. Flex your left foot. On your inhale, right heel lift up the mat. Try to keep that leg straight. Bring it in between your hands, coming into a pyramid pose. Making sure heels are in line here. I'm gonna take these little spinal waves here again. So maybe your hands on your blocks. Whatever is more comfortable for you, as always. Take a big inhale, straight back. Exhale, let it melt. And again, inhale, flex chin to chest, bring it back to your straight back. Exhale, let your chest melt onto your lip. Again, inhale. This time on your exhale, making sure your hips are squared. Just gonna let your chest melt onto that left leg. Making sure your back is straight and long, wherever you are. Two more breaths here. Your next inhale, slowly shift the weight forward, plant the hands down, walk that right foot beside your left one, coming into a straight back again. Take a big inhale, half forward fold, exhale, let it melt. This time on your inhale, lower bum towards the ground, coming into a chair pose. Make sure your back is straight here. Take a full breath. On your next inhale, take a slight twist towards your right. Make sure your bum 
and slow. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist it to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, we're gonna let it melt into a forward fold. On your next inhale, coming back to a straight back. Exhale, turn the hands back down on the mat. Walk back, shift the weight in front. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. To a downward dog. When you're ready, take a big inhale. Chin draws into the chest. Exhale. Drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. Again, inhale, walk forward. Exhale. Glide it back. Last one. Roll forward. Drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. This time, again, let that right leg lift up towards the sky. Take a big inhale, lift that left heel off the mat, bringing your right thigh towards your chest, knee to nose. On your next exhale, slowly lower the foot on to the side, the side your right hand coming into a lizard pose here. So you want your right foot to be parallel with the side of the mat here. Bring your hands, maybe you're on your hands. Maybe you can go ahead and bring the forearms down on the mat. If you want, you can make sure that the elbows are in line with your heels here. Heart is lifted. On your next inhale, if you want, you can take a twist. So go ahead and twist. Open your chest towards your right thigh, your right leg. Taking your right hand, pushing your right thigh, opening your foot, taking a twist here, pressing onto your right thigh towards the floor. If you want to add a little challenge here, you can go ahead and kick the back foot and try and bring it as close to your bum as you can. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly lower the foot back down on the mat. Walk your foot back in in between your hands. And maybe you can go ahead and grab your blocks. We're gonna take a little lunge here. You want your knee to be stacked on top of the ankles. You want your arms to be straight out by your side. You really wanna just let the hips sink down towards the mat. Hips are sort of kind of pressing against each other. So you're gonna use the blocks if you need them or not. Take a big inhale, let your arms rise up all the way overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale. Kind of swing your arms straight in front of you. Exhale. Press the hips back, press onto your foot to come into this kind of half split, keeping your chest straight in front of you. Foot is flexed. Exhale, kind of let it melt onto your leg here. Maybe your hands are on your blocks. Same idea as before, use your blocks when you need them. Go ahead and Melt. Inhale. 
Flip chin to chest, coming into a straight back. Keeping your hips square. Exhale, let it melt. Again, inhale, check chin to chest, straight back. Exhale, let it melt. Last one like this, inhale. And on your next exhale, you're just gonna let it melt onto your leg. Keeping the spine straight, back straight. Breathing, hips are squared. Two more breaths here. And your next inhale, coming back to the straight back. Shift your weight forward. Bring that left hand, palm down, grinding down on the mat beside your right foot. Kind of twist towards your right side. You can go ahead and kick that back leg. Try to grab onto it. Maybe use the strap at first. If this is really hard, just kind of loop it around your foot. Same idea. And just kind of pull it towards your bum here. Letting your hips sing down on the mat. We're going to take a hint. inhale. Exhale, bring it towards your bum. Inhale. Exhale, bring it towards your bum. Last one, inhale, exhale, bring it towards your bum. We're gonna try and keep it there. Two more breaths here. Your next inhale, so you let that back foot come down towards the mat. Take a big inhale, arms lift up overhead. Exhale again, cactus the arms. Inhale, swing to the front. Exhale, same thing, half split. Take a full breath here. Exhale this time, and then we'll let it melt. And your next inhale, coming back to that straight back. We're going to head into our PNF stretches. So go ahead and grab onto one block. We're going to start to kind of walk your foot a little bit more forward, trying to get into your splits here. You can have your block at a medium height or whatever height that you want. Uh, but to start off today, we're going to use the medium height. Can kind of slide yourself into your splits position. You can keep your block by your side, maybe have two blocks or something at first if you need a little bit more help with the balance here. But you don't necessarily need to have anything by your side. So we're gonna start, make sure your front foot is flexed. You can make sure your hips are square by taking the back toes. We're gonna start pressing our right thigh down onto the block for nine seconds here. The PNF stretches is really something that has changed my splits game, forever grateful for this stretch. All right, now you can slowly take the back toe, remove your block. Now we're gonna slide into a split. It's okay, it's normal if you don't uh, get into a full split right now. Just try and slide into your split just to warm up. I'm gonna hold this just for a few seconds. You can also keep the toes tucked, make sure the hips are squared.
All right, you can slowly come out of the stretch. It's gonna take a few seconds, a little break. This specific stretch really changed uh, my splits game, so I can't wait to see what you guys think and how you guys like it. So now we're gonna go ahead and do that same thing all over again. So same height here. And as this becomes easier, you can lower it down. I'm just showing uh, a more easier version to really ease you into it. All right, you can go ahead and remove the block. We're gonna go ahead and slide into our splits again. So tucking your back toe Holding it for a few seconds. All right, can you go ahead and release. We have one more level with the block. What do you think, Habibi? <laughs> All right, and go ahead and put the block on the lowest setting here. Same idea as before. And then slide into your split. Holding this for nine seconds. I'm sure you guys are already feeling a difference. No, I know I am. All right, remove the block. One last time like this. Tucking the back toes. Maybe you wanna try and fold forward. wherever you are. On your next inhale, so we plant the hands back down on the mat. Tuck the back toes, plant the foot in between your hands. Make sure you have um, a solid foundation here. Go ahead and take a big inhale, rise up into a high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, sway to the front. Kind of tiptoe your way into warrior two. And slowly let yourself melt towards that bottom line. Attempting a standing split. Really pulling, pulling, pulling with the top leg wherever you are. Your next exhale, on the back foot down on the mat, and the hands back down, walk back. Now we're facing back. Your next inhale, tuck your chin to chest, roll forward. Exhale, drop the belly with the tail, with the gaze. Again, inhale, roll forward. Exhale. Drop the belly of the tail and the gaze. Last time, inhale, roll forward. Exhale. Drop the belly of the tail of the gaze. This time, let your left leg lift all the way up towards the sky. Take a big inhale. Right heel lifts off the mat. Tucking right the left knee to nose. Exhale. Lower the foot back down on the mat. Put your left hand, coming into a lizard pose. Maybe you're on your hands here, 
Maybe you want to lower down with your forearms. Making sure. Um, here is a line with uh, the forearms, the elbows, sorry. <laughs> Making sure the heel is aligned with the elbows. You want to challenge yourself a little on your next inhale. Put that right hand down on the mat. Taking a twist towards your left leg. Pushing fifth your left hand onto that left thigh, outward. On your next inhale, you can go ahead and kick that right leg back. Maybe try and bring it as close to your bum as you can. Two more breaths here. And your next inhale, let that back leg slowly lower down towards the mat. Walk that foot back in between your hands. Maybe you want to go ahead and grab your blocks if you had them earlier by your side, coming into that low lunge. Again, letting your hips sink down towards the floor. Gonna take a big inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, cactus yarns. Inhale, sway to the front. Exhale, shift it back into a half split, keeping your back straight. Exhale, let it melt towards your leg. Inhale, tuck chin to chest. Coming back to your straight back. Maybe your hands are on your blocks. Exhale, let it melt. Again, inhale, tuck chin to chest. Coming back to your straight back. Exhale, let it melt. Last time, inhale, chin to chest. Exhale. This time, you just want to let yourself melt onto your leg, keeping your hips square. Spine is straight and long. Two more breaths here. Your next inhale, bend the hands back down, shift it back towards the front, plant your right hand this time down on the mat, twisting towards your left thigh, really letting your hips sink down towards the floor. You can go ahead and try and grab onto the back foot. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, try and bring it as close to your bum as you can. Again, inhale, bring it back. Exhale, bring it close to your bum. Last time, inhale. Exhale. This time we're just gonna hold it here, wherever you are. Maybe you wanna use your strap Two more breaths here. And your next inhale, slowly let that back leg come back to the floor. Take a big inhale, arms raise up overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, sway forward. 
Exhale, shift it back, half split. Take a full breath here. Exhale, let it melt. Inhale, coming back to that straight back. Heading into our PNF stretches again, but on this side. So go ahead and put your block at whatever height you had it before. Sliding into your splits, making sure hips are square. Starting by pressing down with our front thigh for nine seconds. All right, I'm gonna remove the block. I'm gonna try and side. I'm gonna try and slide into your splits. Doesn't matter if it doesn't touch the ground. Keep your back foot flex. I know that it makes it 10,000 times harder in the beginning. You're like, oh my God, I thought I was so much better when I tucked my back toes. It's way harder, but that's actually what helps you make sure that you keep good alignments, that your hips are squared. All right, so we're coming out of the stretch. We're gonna take a little break before we do it again. All right, grabbing onto the block again. Same thing as we did before. Starting by pressing down for around nine seconds. So we remove the block, try and slide in your split wherever you are. We just make sure the back toes are tucked. Keep good alignment. You're breathing. All right, on your next inhale, you can come out of the stretch. Take a little pause, let me have one more step with the blocks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this little last step, bringing the block to a lower level here. Same idea. I like to tuck my back toes just to make sure, you know, everything's squared. All right, we're moving the block, tucking your back toes, coming into your splits. You want to untuck the back toes. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure your hips are squared. <laughs> you want to lay down onto your leg. Wherever you are, just make sure you're breathing. We'll take two more breaths here. The next inhale, put your hands back down on the mat. Tuck the back toes. Kind of wiggle your foot in between your hands. That you have a solid foundation here. Take a big inhale, arms rise up overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, sway to the front. Kind of tiptoe your way to a word three. Letting your chest melt down towards your leg. We're going to attempt a standing split. 
I know these are scary at first. Practice, practice. <laughs> Try and bring your chest close to your leg. Pull that leg up, up, up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the foot back down on the mat. Plant your hands down. Slowly walk it back. So you're downward facing dog. We're gonna take a few spinal waves again. Take a big inhale, the chin draws into the chest. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. Again, move forward. Exhale. Draw the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze. Last one. Blow your back. When you make it back, on your next inhale, let the bow heels lift off the mat. Try to tiptoe your way to the top of the mat here. When you make it here, the bow heels come back down. Take a full breath. Coming into a half forward fold. Exhale. Let your bum lower down towards the mat. Here. Try and hold it. Try to hold it here. Don't put your feet or hands on the mat. Slowly take a full breath. Take a big inhale. On your next exhale, slowly start to lower yourself down. Bring your lower back, your back to the mat. Try and hold here. Exhale, bring your back to the starting position. We're gonna do four more like this. When you're ready, take a big inhale, lower down. Exhale, bring your back up. Inhale, lower it up. Exhale, bring your back up. Inhale, lower it up. Exhale, bring your back up. Last one. Inhale, lower it up. Exhale, bring your back up. Slowly lower it down. Maybe hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, all right. You can go ahead and grab your blocks, put them to the side since we don't need them anymore. Can bring your legs straight out in front of you. I'm gonna take a big inhale here, bringing your right knee towards your chest. You can go ahead and clasp your hands, wrap it around to help bring the thigh closer to your chest. Keeping both feet flexed here. On your next inhale, you can go ahead and bring that right knee towards your left, taking that slight twist, bringing your um, right arm straight out to the side, palm is facing down. You can go ahead and look up over your right shoulder. Try and keep both shoulder blades on the mat here. Two more breaths here. Next inhale, bring your leg back to center. Exhale, slowly lower it down. 
Your next inhale, we're gonna switch sides. So go ahead and bring that left leg towards your chest. Kind of wrap your, clasp your hands, up and around. Next inhale, same thing. Go ahead and straighten out your left arm, palm is facing down, keeping both shoulder blades on the mat. Or try to bring your left knee towards the floor. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, bring the left knee back to center. Exhale, can lower down. And just leave your legs straight out in front of you, arms by your side. Coming into Savasana. I'm going to finish this practice by taking a few breaths in Savasana. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the splits flexibility flow. Can't wait to see your progress. Thank you all so much for your support. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.